Book 184 Nobel Prize in Economics 2014. What if the rules meant to protect us from corporate giants are actually helping them instead? This is the provocative question that earned French economist Jean Tirole the 2014 Nobel Prize. In a world increasingly dominated by tech titans and powerful monopolies, Tirole revealed a startling truth. The old rule books for regulating competition are not just outdated, they are dangerous. His work provided a brilliant new blueprint for keeping markets innovative, fair, and free from the shadow of unchecked corporate power. For decades, the prevailing wisdom was that competition would naturally keep companies in check. But Tyrol looked at industries like telecommunications, banking, and the emerging tech sector and saw a different, more troubling reality. He saw markets where a few giants could manipulate the game itself, leaving consumers and innovators out in the cold. Consider the railroad dilemma Tyrol famously explored. Imagine two towns connected by a single railroad. Classic regulation might cap the price of a ticket to prevent price gouging. But Tyrol asked a deeper question. What if the railroad also owns the only hotel in one town? It could simply raise the price of a room to recoup lost ticket revenue, exploiting its power in one market to dominate another. This isn't just a theory. It's the exact kind of strategy used by modern tech platforms that control both an app store and the apps within it, or that sell their own products alongside their competitors. Tyrol's genius was proving that regulators must be as sophisticated as the companies they oversee. He developed custom-tailored models showing that a single rule could never govern both a static utility company and a dynamic tech platform. His work gave policymakers the tools to ask the right questions. How do we set prices that encourage innovation without letting a monopoly exploit its users? How do we regulate a company that knows infinitely more about its market than the government does? Behind the complex models was a powerful moral mission. Economics must serve the public good. If we don't regulate, Tyrol warned, we let the powerful write the rules. His insights directly guided reforms in European telecoms and global antitrust cases, fighting for a world where markets are defined not by raw power, but by trust and transparency. We want to hear from you. Have you ever felt the effects of a market with little competition, like limited choices for internet providers or confusing fees from a dominant platform? Share your experience in the comments. Let's discuss how smart regulation touches all our lives.